First one to greet me in the morning, aren't you? You have some wild bad hair too, buggers. Yes, you do. You gonna get ready with me? Are you gonna help me with my video today? Good morning. I'm so sorry you have to see me in my natural element, but this is what it is, guys. This is what it's at. <laughs> so I am definitely a morning person rather than a late night person. I much rather get up early than stay up late. I'm always yawning by 10 p.m. However, when I'm traveling, that uh, early morning is just a little bit too early for me. I'm one that usually has a early morning flight. I prefer to fly out early so I get to my destination early. And most flights, they are leaving, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine a.m., which means I have to be at the airport, you know, two to three hours before my flight because I like to have cushion there. I'd rather be a minute too early than a minute too late. So that means I'm usually getting up at, you know, three, four in the morning. And even though I'm a morning person, that's just too early. That's just that's just too early. But no matter what, I still have my routine in check. I try to keep my skincare, hair, everything as normal as I can when I'm traveling. So today I'm gonna show you my step-by-step -step morning routine when I'm traveling. And if you haven't already, please give this a thumbs up so the YouTube algorithm will share this with other fellow travelers. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the little bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do in the morning is cleanse my face and Ozzy, I guess, is gonna join me in this little sesh. And actually, the products I use when I travel, like I said, I like to keep everything as similar as possible so that my skin will stay um, used to the different products I'm using. But I actually make my own uh, face wash and I keep it right here on my counter. However, what's in here is very similar to what I use when I'm traveling. So I prefer to use the Dr. Bronner's Castile Bar Soap when I travel to use as my face and whole cleanser and then I also use it on my body. And the product that's in my at home face wash is actually the same. It's just the liquid format. So um, I have the big jug of this um, that is the same exact ingredient, just liquid format. I just prefer to travel with the bar soap. As a reminder, remember this is a solid. So if you're like me and you only travel with carry-on, you have to be a little bit more mindful of all the liquids that you're bringing with you. I love being able to use items multi-purposely and this is one of them. So now it's time to moisturize. So the first thing I do after I clean my face is I uh, do a toner and I use this rose water toner by Dickinson's. It's a witch hazel which is a natural ingredient and it has no alcohol in it. So that's what I love about this and it's nourishing at the same time. If you've ever used other toners, um, a lot of them have so much alcohol in it dries your face out a lot. So that's why I love rose water. This is my favorite. I just used a little cotton pad to put that on. remember when you're cleaning your face treat your neck and your chest the same I always bring my products down to my chest look at that even though my face was clean I still have just a little bit of residue left over from probably some old makeup or something but it's amazing what comes off my face even after it's clean there's always a little bit left okay, so now what would I use is a vitamin C serum this has been a life changer for my skin. Um, I actually just started using this maybe eight, nine months ago, but I'll never 
uh, not have a vitamin C serum from here. Before I used to get really dry skin in the winter time, I've been using this product on my face all winter and I have no dry skin. I, I used to get a lot of dry flakes in like my T-zone because it used to get so dry. Not with this. So this is great. This is um, Insta Natural Vitamin C Serum. So I use this after my toner. exact same products um, so going back to the toner I just have this in a smaller little travel size bottle but I bring the same product with me I treat my skin as normal as I would and then this is actually under 3.4 ounces this is one ounce so this I just bring with me it works great to just carry on as a liquid on my carry-on this goes back to being able to just bring your actual items with you instead of having to downsize so this is one of them. So in the mornings, I like to do a jade rolling on my face. So when I wake up in the morning is when usually when my face is the puffiest and I feel like jade rolling really helps that. And especially when I'm traveling, I eat a lot more salt and, and I feel like my face is puffier when I travel. So this has been really helpful. So I do bring my jade roller with me when I travel and I do use this um, uh, every morning. Now the thing with jade rolling is you have different lymphatic drainage points um, so I know there's some right here in your temples and then down here in your neck so I like to bring everything up to my temple area and then down my forehead and then this just helps bring out puffiness I feel and drainage and then same with my neck so I'll show you. cooling on the skin so jade is naturally always cold so when you put it on your skin it's cooling to the skin and I feel like it helps some of my redness too along with the mixture of the vitamin C um, I usually get a lot of redness on my cheeks and this seems to like calm it down a little bit now for my day moisturizer I actually use a lighter moisturizer than what I use in the evenings I use a thicker coconut oil mixture that I actually make myself but during the day I've been using the same exact product for like 14 years, yes. I have not changed my moisturizer for my face in 14 years because it works. I love how it feels on my skin and it works really well with my makeup. So setting my makeup on top of this moisturizer has always been fantastic. So I just stick with it. I use Hemp's um, original, the original moisturizer. Yep, this is it. This is what I use for my face. Always have, always probably will. I mean, what's the point of changing if you don't have any problems? If it's not broke, why fix it, right? And there you have it, there's my morning skin routine. And like I said, I bring these exact same products with me when I travel. I just downsize them into smaller bottles. I keep things very simple with my at home skin routine. And when I travel, it's just as simple. I almost forgot, I have to brush my teeth. <laughs> So this is one thing I do want to kind of mention. When I travel and I am going on a long haul flight, I always keep toothpaste and a toothbrush handy, very accessible, because if I have a layover or something, I'm in the bathroom and I'm brushing my teeth because there's nothing gross than having a gross mouth while you're traveling for a long time. to travel with my hair down because it really helps without having to worry about keeping my ponytail in check or messy bun or whatever I'm wearing and it doesn't hit on the back of the seat because you kind of sit awkward in the seats when you have a ponytail and it's like you can't straighten your head so I always straighten my hair so this is my natural hair right I pretty much always have to do something with it because it's a wavy wavy mess not one to use a lot of product in my hair so this is all I put in my hair before I straighten it it's just like a heat serum so 
my straightener. This is my favorite straightener. This is another one of those items that I keep buying over and over. I probably went through four or five of these, but what I love about the straightener is it has the comb. It works so good when I straighten my hair, so. Now the only thing I do because my hair like loses volume after I straighten it is I do some back combing. I use a fine tooth comb like this one and I just suction it out and I back comb. This just helps with the volume. don't put any more product in my hair because I feel like the more product I put in my hair the more greasy it gets and dirty feeling it gets and I just rather have everything as clean as possible so that's why I don't put any more product in my hair than just that serum that I did before to help heat protect my hair as I straighten it. Okay so naturally after usually I'm done with my hair I will do my entire full face makeup however um, on a long haul flight I don't wear makeup because I do not like to sleep and sit in makeup for that amount of time. So this is it. I go to the airport with no makeup and straight hair and that's how I travel. So if I'm on a shorter flight, I will probably do a full face of makeup, but otherwise on a long haul flight where it's a red eye or anything over, you know, eight hours, six, seven, eight hours, I'm not wearing any makeup. One nice thing that kind of looks halfway decent is that I had my eyebrows microbladed. So these are always like filled in and shaped. So that helps a lot. But if you are someone who doesn't prefer to wear makeup when you travel, you could get like a tinted moisturizer or something if you feel like, you know, you want to look a little bit more put together, unlike me, where I just realized I don't care. This is, this is me, and this is me without makeup, and now you see me all over the internet with no makeup on. <laughs> now we're gonna head to my closet and get out my outfit for our trip. Welcome to my closet. Okay, so how many of you have the exact same outfit that you wear every time you take a trip? right here. Yes, I have my go-to outfit. I wear it on the plane and I wear it back home too unless it got dirty or something, but I wear the same outfit to my destination and on the way home from my destination. my outfit I wear every single time I travel. I have this long cardigan that has the pockets. I like wearing long sleeves when I travel. I have just some standard uh, leggings. They're actually the high-waisted ones. I have never worn high-waisted until I got these and I love them. These are from Target. Love, love, love. Actually my whole outfit is from Target. Cardigan is from Target. It's actually it's all in the athletic section um, of where all these items are. And then, same with the shirt, I just have a tank top that I put underneath the cardigan, and I'm good. Throw on my white shoes, and I'm good to go. All right, you guys, we are gonna wrap this up. Ozzy and I say thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and be sure to like this video. I'll also leave all the links to the items I had in this video down below. And I wanna hear from you guys. What would you like to see next? What type of content? Be sure down in the comments some ideas. And let's say bye. Bye YouTube!